where. Today's a day that brings to, the, to, to my mind two words, tragedy and treason. It's been 15 years since the death of Freddy Villanueva, who was shot and killed by a Montreal police officer. It happened here. He had been playing a game of dice in Henry Barassa Park in Montreal North on August 9th, 2008. Advocates say they're still waiting on justice for his family. How can that be justified? You know, shooting at uh, three young men, no weapons in their hands. Villanueva arrived in Canada alongside his family on refugee status from Honduras at the age of 10. On the day he was shot and killed, he was alongside his brother and others who had been playing a game of dice. Officers Jean-Luc Lapointe and Stephanie Pilote say after they tried to break up the game and arrest Danny Villanueva, an altercation ensued, resulting in Freddy's death. No criminal charges were laid. If Jalou Lapointe uh, didn't uh, wear his police uniform that day, he would have been charged in a matter of minutes. That's what saved him, his police uniform. More than a decade after his death, a memorial paying tribute to Villanueva in Montreal North, where he died, was never erected. But they did name this park Place de l'Espoir, or Place of Hope in English, where the plaque mentioned Freddy and the August 2008 events. A mural was created last year in the city's Villeray Saint Michel Park Extension Borough, Freddy painted with angel wings. But for Ricardo Lamour, curator of the mural, more needs to be done. I think that if we see all of the other tragedies that have followed after Freddy Villanueva, I'm talking also about Ronnie Kay, um, Bonny Jean Pierre, um, Pierre Coriolan, um, Nicholas Gibbs. I'm wondering what has really changed. The racial profiling is still pretty heavy here in Montreal North, so the fact that a lot of things haven't changed is uh, unacceptable. For Cassandra Exhumé of Hoodstock, the feeling is the same. She says with cases of racial profiling mounting, stories like Freddy's continue to happen. Let's make that a society problem and not just go and just wait five years come back to Montreal in order to ask, you know, it's been 20 years. Let's do something every day, every month, every year to prevent those type of situations from happening again. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.